Let's have called gang. All right, we're gonna find the area, or not the area. We're gonna find the domain of this function, basically. And the domain is where it's uh, where it's uh, qualified, basically. Where does it exist? Where can you plug in numbers and get functions of it? So what you can do is you can break it into parts because we want to find where it exists. And of course, you know that ln of two minus x does not exist where uh, ln is equal to, or you know, the inside is zero or less than zero. So let's write that actually. So this has to be greater than zero, right? It has to be greater than zero. So if you move the x to the other side. Uh, if you plug, add x to the other side, they say that x has to be uh, less than or to 2, right? Because if x is anything, say x is, let's see, if x is 3, it's going to be 2 minus 3, it's going to be negative 1. Can't exist. Pretty cool. So that's a true thing. Let's go draw this. So here's 1, here's 2. And because it's not equal to, it has to be a dotted line, Boom, like this. And x has to be less than two, so it's going to be on this side. So it cannot be cannot be over here, no matter what. It cannot be on that side. That's just non-existent. You don't worry about that anymore. All right. So now we look at the other side. We have x. It's one over all of this. And what you know is that the denominator cannot be equal to zero. You cannot divide by zero, right? So this has to not be equal to zero. So let's write that. So zero is not equal to one minus x squared minus y squared. So of course you can move all this to the other side and get x squared plus y squared is not equal to one. What that gives you is another dotted line. And this is, a this is the equation of a circle with radius one. So it's gonna look like, here's one, here's negative one, here's negative one. It's gonna be like a dotted circle looking like this. So that's all, the red stuff is the stuff you can't see. And our domain is gonna be everything else, right? Anything, oh. <laughs> anything on this side, of x is equal to 2 and not equal to this circle. That's what our domain is qualified as. So uh, yeah, that's it really. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and, oh yeah, I have to explain the domain too. I drew, I, the thing about the domain is like, you, you write it out on your paper, but you also have to write out in domain form basically. So what you wanna do is domain is equal to curvy thing, put your function, so it's x and y. And then, um, so we have that two is greater than x. And x squared plus y squared is not equal to 1. And there you go, that's your domain right there. Uh, I hope you guys get the image of this graph. Basically what I'm saying is it has to be less than 2. x has to be less than 2, so anything over here qualifies. And then it cannot be on this circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, because we figured that out. If you plug in this, it gives you 0 on the bottom. It doesn't work. So yeah, that's how you do these problems. Just write things out. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy these problems. Uh, good luck on your calculus homework.